Send it, Krista. Right through the mud hole. Send it. I'm back here today. Plan is like 2.30. I don't know. Something like that. Anyways, uh, I was kind of in a rush this morning, so I didn't really film any, but I finished the field I was in, uh, that 80 acres, and now, oh, I was turning the wrong way. Now I'm in a 90 acre field. I got one lap around the uh, a part of it here, and uh, this is really hard to steer with one hand, so. Uh, yeah. I just finished uh, the field that I was in in the last video, and uh, I'm in a 90 acre field now. I'm, I've got a lap around a part of it. Now I'm taking another lap around. I probably speed up a little bit. Huh. Krista's running the McFarlane around. Uh, she ran this field yesterday. She's just kind of touching up some, sp some places. And I've got um, one lap around this. Like I said, I'm working on the second. And there's a few parts of this field. This is uh, the better part here. And then there's a little triangle here. And then there's the, the other side of the driveway, uh, which is probably a little bit over half of it over there. And um, I got, I filled up with fertilizer when I got here, and I'm gonna have to fill up with seed probably once I finish this little place here. Uh, the seed tender and the fertilizer tender are sitting up there. Fertilizer tender's right there somewhere, right there. And the seed tender's back there, you can't see it, but I got lap around it, and now I'll just work on the second. Uh, it's, plant, it's supposed to be playing at 28,000 here. Uh, I should actually uh, change my uh, thingy here. Um, that's actually something I forgot to do. Well. Anyways, I need to get the prescription map up. Uh, it's not a big deal, but anyways. sticks out here we gotta pick up. Uh, I think Nick's coming with the backhoe. Pick some of them up so uh, he should be up here anytime. Uh, pick these up. Uh, this did used to be a forest so uh, yeah it's kind of uh, makes sense why it has a lot of sticks in it. And I think that's a big rock right there. Yeah. There's some big sticks over here. The planter shouldn't go over. If not I'll just have to uh, well, I don't know. I guess I'll have to move. I think we're gonna be okay. Oh, went right in between there. That's pretty cool. Anyways, I'm just gonna keep planting on and get as much planted as we can uh, before it rains again and we can't plant anymore because of the insurance date. Just wearing off this little corner here. I can sometimes go around curves. I can sometimes curve the corners. Uh, but then on the second lap, I end up having to square it off. So I'm gonna get turned around here because it's kind of hard to do with one hand. So uh, I'll get back to you in a second. So since I'm on the on the second row around, I've already set my curve track line. Um, I guess if some of you guys were curious about um, the curve track, so every when I go around the field, it records my exact like uh, it records where I've been at on that first lap around where we can't really use auto steer because we have to border the field. Um, whenever on our second round I can click the auto steer button and it shows up with the line that uh, that follows exactly around uh, the first line that I did. Now with planting corn I only do two end rows because uh, that's really all I need to turn around. Uh, the end rows are just the rows on the end of the field where we turn around at. Um, and we kind of have to have those because if we didn't we'd have to back around every single time on the ends and uh, it'd be kind of inefficient so even though we are running it over on the ends uh, it's more inefficient not to do in rows on there because well it, you would uh, have to be backing up all the time and you'd miss on the ends and everything like that so I know there's actually some parts of the country that actually do that uh, but they have 
they have a diff different equipment and stuff like that, different situation. But I'm just up in here eating some lunch. You can go on and join me. That's the bean crew. Uh, Jacob and Cody are planting beans today. Pretty sure everybody in the county is planting today. Uh, if you're not, well, then I don't know what you're doing. You're done, which nobody here is done. I can tell you that. Because um, we have just had a terrible year. Definitely more. It's definitely worse than it was last year. Uh, last year was pretty bad. Uh, this year, we were done. We we had like 1,500 acres of corn in at this time last year, and we don't even have. I haven't even looked. I haven't even bothered looking at how much we have in right now. Uh, not very much at all. Nowhere near what we should, but uh, I guess there's really nothing we could do about it. If we would have planted it in early April, whenever there was a gap, uh, it would have got froze out because of the fact that uh, it got below freezing uh, at the end of April, and a bunch of guys around here planted some, a bunch of crops, and they had to replant pretty much all of them. Uh, it just depends on where you're at. I'm pretty sure the whole, a lot of uh, the Midwest got the freeze and everything like that. Uh, but luckily we didn't have, well, we don't think we had anything freeze out. Uh, we haven't even looked at the beans that we planted pretty early. Uh, they took a long time to come up. They kind of like took three or four weeks to come out of the ground. Uh, whenever they did come out, we checked them and it didn't look very good, but uh, maybe they came out of it by now. Uh, I haven't really went to look or anything. Haven't had time. Um, been trying. I've planted till 11. I mean, not 11 last night. At 10:45 last night, and I uh, got that got that bigger part of that field over there done. And I didn't get started very early this morning. I got started about like 9:30 or 10. Uh, definitely not as early as I would like to, uh, but I'll probably. I want to try to finish this 90 acres today. It is 248 right now, so uh, we'll see what happens. I'd like to finish it up so that way I can move down to another 70 acres. Uh, it's right down the road here and do that and then uh, see what happens after that. If we can find somewhere else to go, maybe, or maybe just quit. Uh, um, but I'm not really sure because uh, tomorrow it's going to be dry. Today's Tuesday. Uh, it is the second, and it's uh, we got a dry day tomorrow, and then it's going to rain uh, for the rest of the week. So uh, that'll be pretty much it on that. Hey everybody, it's Cody here, and we're out here planting beans, and Bradley's planting corn, and Jake up is behind me, and this we're in this field, and I call it the mountain field. Because it's pretty much like a mountain. If you can see down there, it all it all goes up here, up the hill. And I'm about to the top here. And then when I get to the top, you can see about everywhere. So So, uh, we got a lot of beans left to plant, uh, uh, well, pretty much all the acres that didn't go to corn will go to beans, plus all the all the bean acres, so uh, we got a, long, a longer time to plant beans, though, than we do corn. Uh, we got until, like, July or something, I mean, we can plant, uh, because we plant double crop beans, but most of our double crop beans are going to go in early, well, our double crop beans have gone in earlier already than uh, some of the regular beans so because uh, we got that stuff chopped early now that we do have another uh, field of wheat to chop and uh, I think they're, they're mowing down another field of wheat for hay uh, today but anyways I think they're bailing all of that hay uh, today that I mowed down the other day well they mowed they bailed some of it yesterday and they they're gonna bail some more today of what I did uh, well, it would have been uh, Sunday, and so I'm just, I got, I just got done with the uh, in rows, and now I'm gonna go. I'm driving in circles right now. I don't really know what I'm doing right now. Uh, don't decide that. Uh, 
anyways, uh, I'm gonna go find a spot in a census field has no good way to do it. Uh, I'm gonna just cut the metal. I know it's not really the best thing to do, but it's kind of something I gotta do. Uh, we do this field at kind of an angle, and the angle kind of goes like this here. Like this. I think. You guys about saw me fall there. At least it would have had it on camera. You guys might run dead, so if you uh, cut off here in a second, that's why. in here to uh, uh, keep the uh, C2 lubricated since uh, it's all air and it all goes through those tubes. It's a dry lubricant uh, to keep it uh, sliding through those C tubes a lot better. And then we have less trouble with plugging. Um, we do have an automatic talc dispenser on the uh, seat tender here, but I just I just put it in my hand. It's not that bad. Get this over here, it's all operated by remote control here. So, over here. Go, uh, I think we might be too close. Too far away. just finished this 90 acres and I'm gonna bring this tractor back up to the house up here I'm gonna park it for the night and uh, Chris got done running the inside uh, on the next field I'm going to in the morning and uh, she said she's done with that she was done with that a little bit ago um, so yes uh, that's gonna be it for tonight it is nine o'clock and um, I guess we'll get home a little bit earlier tonight and better than 10:45. anyways head back up here to the house and uh, call it a night so I guess uh, I will see you in the morning uh, whenever I'm starting and uh, hopefully I'm maybe not in such a hurry in the morning and I can film a little bit